Towards Green Automated Machine Learning, Status Quo in Future Directions. I'm Tanja Tonede and this is joint work together with Alexander Tonede, Jonas Hansele, Felix Mohr, Marcel Wefer and Eike Hüllermeier. Automail is resource consuming. That's probably nothing new. Let's have a look at an example paper. Neural Architecture Search with Reinforcement Learning by Zofia and Lee from Google Brain. For their final experiments, they let 800 GPUs run for 28 days, which consumed more than 130 megawatt hours of energy. This is actually equivalent to the yearly consumption of 30 four-persons households, or on a more monetary level, you would have to invest roughly half a million US dollar if it would have been executed on a commercial cluster. But how to know about the environmental impact of a paper? And assuming we know it, how can we actually improve it? This is what we ought to cover within this paper. We coined this paradigm Green AutoML. First, we discuss how to quantify the environmental footprint of AutoML research. Then we elaborate on four categories of action. The design of AutoML systems, benchmarking, transparency, and research incentives. Furthermore, we discuss the trade-off or freedom of research and the environmental impact. Lastly, we show prospects of AutoML. Let's have a look at how to quantify resource consumption. An ideal measure is hardware independent, easy to measure, human interpretable, covers efficiency and quantifies environmental footprint. On the right, you can see different measures which we compared, none being close to the optimal case. In terms of measurability, counting CPU or GPU hours is the best proxy so far. Furthermore, with more information on the hardware and energy mix, the environmental footprint can be estimated. After the environmental impact of the current system has been measured, it can be improved in multiple ways, which we will elaborate on in the following. Let's start with the design of the automail system. There are two sides that can be improved in general. On one hand, one can adapt the AutoML system to search for energy efficient pipelines. And on the other hand, the AutoML system itself can become more energy efficient, for example, by one of the following strategies, like warm starting, multi-fidelity performance measures, or intelligence stopping criteria. Overall, the question is what to do with the savings. Should we terminate early or use the saved amount for further search? While benchmarking, there are some aspects which can help to increase the environmental footprint. Most importantly, tabular or surrogate benchmarks. Rule of thumb is publish all details about each pipeline that has been evaluated, like the performance, the runtime, or the CPU, GPU hours, hardware, or energy mix, or whatever comes into your mind that might be beneficial to um, report. Thus, we Avoid to have repeated executions of the same pipeline. Furthermore, when comparing to AutoML systems, one would like to check the predictive performance together with the ecological performance profiles. Overall, the transparency is key towards green AutoML. Therefore, add details about the environmental footprint to every paper. The easiest way to do so is to check out our checklist. We split it up into two sections. One is about the design, development, and evaluation of AutoML systems, like what key aspects does your approach design include to be efficient? The other one is about the resource consumption, like what resources have you used for the final evaluation? How many CPU or GPU hours have you been used for it? And what's your energy mix? Or did you compensate the carbon emissions? Moreover, suitable research incentives might help to guide research into a more environmental-friendly direction. Let me give you some examples. Maybe a call for conference and journal papers dedicated to challenges of green AutoML might be sufficient. We could have submission forms with questions about the environmental footprint, like we actually have for AutoML Conf this year and the last year. Funding agencies could advocate projects dedicated to decrease the footprint of automated or machine learning in general. Moreover, carefully reviewing the footprint of a paper before acceptance might also be something one wants to check out. Nevertheless, there's always open discussion about freedom of research versus environmental impact, like 
how strong should research incentives made by a conference or funding agency be? What is considered a wasteful or too expensive evaluation in a paper? When is a certain improvement, e.g. in terms of performance or another measure, worth the invested resources? What is a reasonable degree of transparency which authors should focus on for their publications? This paper has been published at JR. You can find it easily via the QR code on the right. In case you would like to contact me, please check out my website with the QR code on the left. I'm looking forward to discuss the post at Automacon in September.